seven stripes, we're working on your self-defense and we're doing number 19 and number 20. These are the bear hugs. Number 19 is under the arms, 20 is over. Ooh. All right, so Master C's got me, he's under the arms. Now, I like this one. Um, this is the one where I tell you, you need to use your tushy as a weapon, right? You're gonna do what we call the tush push. So I'm going to um, put my legs such that I center one of his legs in between mine. So I'm not jumping both my legs out, I'm just moving one so I can see one of his legs in between me. Let's go to this side. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to kind of sink into my, my legs. I'm gonna push my hips back and grab his leg at the same time. So I'm coming here, that was the using it as a weapon, and then I'm gonna pull it up. Now, if you're a fella, when you pull it up, don't um, let him kick you in the crotch, right? It's good to come up to the side, and then from here, side kick. Now I see a lot of students when they do this, they just kick somewhere randomly. You need to think about your target here. The groin is a great place to kick. If they start to try to come up, the face is a great place to kick. Number 20, this is the bear hug over. A lot of students struggle with this one. There's a lot of good ways to do this one. Um, the way that we teach at Cosby Karate Academy is you are going to bring, drop your weight and bring your elbows up to your ears at the same time. Um, from there, we're gonna do some elbow strikes. So I'm gonna drop my weight and bring my elbows up here. I'm gonna elbow strike and then side kick or turning back kick to make distance between the two of us. Do not do this and let him hang out here. From here, he's gonna choke you, right? This is way worse than this. So when you drop your weight, elbows need to come up so it's really hard for him to choke me from here. Keep one up elbow, you can do two elbows or one and then kick to create some distance. That's number 19 and 20. Oh, I have to cut that. I didn't get to stop it. 